hello and welcome back with a new episode of how to draw a pug so i am going to draw right now starting from the head so i'm going to make two little ears and then going down to the bottom i'm going to draw chins do you know pugs are basically a small kind of dog which have originated from asia and they were kept as pets by tibetan monarchs so going bottom we are going, going to make some face gestures i am going to make a cuter one so i am putting a small nose and a smiling face now going to the body section of the pug adding a small little tail and then making the trunk first i'll make the last leg and then i'll move to the forward pugs are really very cute little pets which are mostly liked by children because of their cute and small and very adorable eyes this is not to scare you but do you know pet pugs have their own kind of disease that's called pug dog encephalitis this is why because their face and their brain is so small that the brain does not fit inside the skull which causes this dog to feel constant migraine blindness and involuntary physical movements like you would have never seen a pug running in circles because they hate it so here you see i have made all the legs and now moving on to the eyes i would give later a shade to this also but now i am going to just make eyes and then some face body mass this particular face lines will show you how much a pug has the mass or the flesh on its skin or entire body so they have actually a lot of it now i'm using a little light pale yellow shade and i'm coloring it entirely with that and then later on we'll do shades on it but initially you will have to cover up entire thing with yellow pale yellow you can use this while using watercolor or yes a watercolor only i believe otherwise acrylic and pastel colors won't give you that look when you do a different shade on the top of it so it's like where you want to give the shade you should leave empty spaces so this is perfectly goes with the watercolor so now going with the ears i am taking a darker shade like a gray plus yellow and now what i was talking about coloring the eye section and the chin section are very small sturdy and blocky they have short face with large expressive eyes and a very soft fur and they are not exactly lazy but they don't need so much exercise to do and these were like really make pug a beautiful pet to keep in but they come with some negative defects also like they come with potential health problems due to their deformed face they shed a lot i tell you like almost every day but come on it's you cannot say no to pugs they are so cute now you see i have given a shade a darker shade the bottom at the back side of the pug and some whiter shade that shows the underneath skin of the pug so that would give you a real effect now the last thing which is left here is to give a proper outline to my drawing so i would again take a darker pencil shade and i would just make some lines which have been already faded by coloring so you can just draw it almost going to get completed 
If after this you feel like having a bug, go for it and have a pet.